Today is the day that we reveal the brand new giveaway to you guys. And like we said, it's a little bit different than anything we've done before because I'm giving you guys one of my personal cars. And before we hop into the giveaway, I wanted to let you guys know that the brand new Path of the Samurai Legends collection is live right now. This is the first collection of the entire year, and best of all, every $1 that you guys spend on the Legend site is one entry in to win the giveaway car. The Path of the Samurai collection consists of two brand new hoodies, two brand new shirts, a windbreaker, omomori, and tons of awesome accessories. But not only do we have all of that on the site, we still have some of your favorite designs and collections up on the site to make sure that you guys can get all of the entries that you want. So like I said, every $1 that you spend on the Legend site is one entry in to win. And if you are a VIP member, you guys are getting double entries. The giveaway is live right now, so don't miss out. Get those entries in. Good luck on the new build. Let's hop into today's video. We are finally back home at the garage, and granted, the weather's pretty terrible, but we're starting the year off strong. We had so much travel just to start everything out. We were in Japan, we've been in the snow, and now I'm excited to finally get back to the garage and get right to work. And like I said, we're starting to the year finally off get strong, back. and we're starting with a giveaway. Now, actually, before we get started with this giveaway, I need you guys to do me giveaway. a huge favor to start out the new year. Make sure if you guys are enjoying all the content that we have, that you hit that like button, as well as make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you guys are notified every time we post a new video because you guys are not going to want to miss all the episodes on this next giveaway. So let's get into it. Yep, you guys are seeing that right. We are giving away my personal FK. Now, before you guys go crazy, let me explain. Throughout us owning this car, you guys have seen the incredible progression from when this car was just an awesome stock daily to kind of the race car that it is now. It is truly, in my opinion, the ultimate Type R. This thing has been so much fun and every piece of the build was exactly what I wanted to do to this car. Starting it kind of stock to the daily Type R, adding all of the JDM bits, building it all the way up into this awesome race car that we have right here. Now, for the build for you guys, we're gonna change this up a little bit. Now, I'm sure all of you guys are wondering why we're actually giving away the Type R. And before we actually get into the build of the Type R that we're gonna do for you guys, let me touch on that just a little bit. So now that I have the FL5, there's no reason for me to still keep the FK, especially when we're gonna be racing the M2. So I thought there's no better way to do this than to give it to one of you guys. As I told you guys, this is one of my personal favorite cars and one of my favorite cars that we've ever built on the channel. And like I said, I wanna give you guys a piece of us and a piece of the channel. And there's no better way to do that than to give you one of my favorite cars. Now for the build, you guys have seen the progression of this car from its very stock form to the race car that it is right now. And every step of the way has been exactly what I wanted from this car. Like I said, from stock, doing all the little JDMJs racing and HKS bits and building it all the way up to the custom aero, the APR stuff, the suspension mods that we have and really make making this thing into an awesome race car. Now, I know not all of you guys race cars, so we're gonna be switching up the FK a little bit and making it more suitable for all of you guys. Now, of course, this goes without saying, because I've already said at the beginning of the video, but every $1 that you guys spend on the Legend site is one entry in to win my FK, and you guys are not going to miss out on this because it is such an amazing car. So let's talk about what exactly we're gonna be doing today. Uh, Tim, I can't believe we're doing it, but Dude, we're... <laughs> I can't believe someone's gonna win this. It's pretty sick, yeah. So this is different than any anything we've ever done before. It's a piece of us, a piece of the channel, and it's getting to go to you guys. And the coolest part is you guys have already watched the full build on this. You know the story of it, which is so rad. But don't worry, the Honda stuff isn't going anywhere because we have a ton of big plans for the FL5 as well. And that's kind of why we're giving you guys the FK8 to make a little bit more room for what we have planned for bigger and better stuff. Now, for today though, not all of you guys like to race your cars and I get that, but I want you guys to have the opportunity and the option to do that if you so want to. What are we doing today is making this and kind of reverting it back to how it was when I had the OEM-ish style era of this car. Meaning, we're going to remove a lot of the aero for you guys, put on some more streetable wheels, some brakes, and especially the exhaust, making it a little bit quieter for those of you guys that want to daily this car, but also have the option to take this thing to the track. Especially before we started trailering the car everywhere, I would drive this car to and from the track every single weekend. The beauty of this car is you can load everything that you need for the track right in the back of this thing. 
all your tools, your jack, four wheels and tires, which is absolutely crazy. And even, I've even stuck separately four tires and four wheels in boxes in the back of this car, which is absolutely ridiculous. And for you guys, we're gonna be reverting it back to that style so that you guys can drive to and from work, to and from wherever you want, and also to and from the track on the weekends. Now, that's the best part about this car. It's gonna be that good. But also, wanted to make sure to let you guys know that we're still gonna keep all the good power stuff. This Type R makes 420 horsepower with its E85 sensors. So if you guys want to run E85, you can. If you don't have E85 and you guys just want to run 91, you can do that as well. But this car absolutely parties and it's so much fun, not only on the track, but also on the street. It's just the perfect amount of power, like I said, to just daily drive and take to and from the track. It's really awesome. All of the modifications that we've done to support this have been really tasteful. We have the motor mounts, we have the baffled oil pan, the injectors. I mean, there's just so much good bits on this car that I'm so excited for you guys to experience. Now for today, like I said, we'll be changing just a few things. First off, we're gonna be giving you guys the OEM Brembo brakes, which are absolutely fantastic. So when you guys stop, these AP Racing brakes don't shove you into the seat. The OEM brakes are absolutely fantastic. We're gonna be putting back on the HKS exhaust, which I absolutely love. And we are also gonna be putting on the stock wing, but with a cool little carbon fiber touch, which I've been hoarding for so long, because I knew at some point I was gonna be putting the OEM wing back on, and I, I got a cool little piece that I actually never installed that I'm gonna be giving to you guys as well. And then we're also be hopping back into the interior to put the OEM seat back in for you guys so you're nice and comfortable driving around the streets. And these Type R OEM seats are very sought after, so I wanna make sure that you guys have those for yourselves as well. With all that said, Tim, Ready to get started in this thing? I, I'm ready to tear it apart. Putting put her back. back. To now stay till the end because I need y'all's help on one little thing. Let's go ahead and modify this car and then I need all of your opinions on what we should do next. I think we're gonna start off with exhaust and wing and Tim Bros will be working on the brakes. You guys remember the track pipe? This was absolutely awesome for the race car, but I'm guessing for street driving, you guys are probably gonna definitely want that HKS exhaust. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove the track pipe. Plus, who doesn't love just a little bit of JDM goodness popping out the back of the car? It's gonna be really nice. So this is super easy to remove. We'll go ahead and get the HKS exhaust on. Got it. <laughs> okay. Well, track pipe uninstalled. And I guess if any FK8 owners want the track pipe or whoever wins this car, if you do want the track pipe, we can include this as well. Ooh, let's see. Ooh. HCAS really does make the best stuff. This was definitely one of my favorite exhausts that we ever did. And it's just beautiful, looks amazing behind the Type R, and it sounds really good, especially paired with the MAP downpipe. It's perfect. Yeah, I forgot about these. I know, right? We did the RV6 Performance rear lower control arms. Those are super nice. Okay, I think we should just slide this. I guess I could have moved this. Hey, can you give me a beer or hold this real fast? HS exhaust installed. All right, moving right along to make this FK8 a little bit more streetable. Now that the HKS exhaust is done, next up on my list is going to be the APR wing, which we'll be repurposing for reuse at some point, but for today, we have something that's actually super cool for you guys. A little Tim update right here as well. Tim is almost done with the brakes. So you guys are gonna get gyro disc two-piece rotors along with the OEM four-pot Brembo brakes. And then also giving you guys my personal favorite pads, the endless racing pads. That's what I like the best. Even for street use, they don't feel that aggressive, but when you slam on those things, they stop on a dime, which is really cool. Actually still running them on the FL5 as well. Next up, 
we have the OEM wing. We're bringing back, actually, I really like the OEM wing as well. It's very nice, but we're making it a little bit different because we're gonna be taking the OEM blade and switching it with the EVS tuning carbon blade, which is actually extended quite a bit. If you guys look at the comparison, much larger and has a very aggressive angle coming out the back, which is gonna look so much nicer on the back of this car. And like I said, making it a little bit more streetable, but giving it that aggressive track touch, which I really, really like. So I'd remove the APR GT wing and get this carbon EVS wing on. Okay, to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see, I already went ahead and removed all of the plastics you need to get off. Now, which actually pretty crazy is, all that's holding on the wing are these two 10 mil bolts right here. That's pretty wild. So we're gonna get these off and then we'll be able to remove the APR GT wing. And just like that, OEM wing is back on. It actually looks super dope with the OEM wing. Yeah, the OEM I'm, wing is so good. Okay, but now we're gonna pop these bad boys off. That way we can get the OEM blade off and then we can get to the good stuff. I think the EVS wing is really gonna give this thing a completely different look, number one, but also a really aggressive, awesome OEM plus look, which is what we're really going for this car. Take a look, man. Actually, I kind of like the white, well, the livery that we have. It kind of matches and flows. Anyways, let's get this blade off. It's kind of like Honda knew we were just gonna modify the heck out of all these cars. So they made everything super simple and easy to access and get to. OEM one down, let's go compare this to the EVS tuning carbon one. Check her out. Ooh, look at the girth difference. Oh man, that's not even comparable. That's pretty sick. And it's just carbon goodness too. Much wider as well. Big, big weight difference. Big angle difference. This is just overall super, super nice. Sweet, okay, very easy install. Let's go ahead and get this guy on the ground. Mission accomplished, well, mission accomplished so far. We've got upgraded OE brakes back on. We've got the super rad EVS tuning rear wing on, which you guys will see a little bit better once we get this car on the ground. That angle is so gnarly. It looks super rad, especially from the back. It looks so cool. EVS tuning wing is on. We got HKS exhaust on. Now we're gonna go ahead and bleed the brakes since we did put back our gyro discs and the endless racing pads. Once the brakes are bled, we're gonna be putting on our TE37. Look at this thing. So gnarly, ready for the street, but also you can go rip this thing on the track. Actually, by the time that we pull this out of the garage, it'll be back to its form when we race this thing at Circuit of the Americas, which is so freaking cool. I mean, you guys gotta think, we still have the PRL P700 Turbo. We've got the MA Performance downpipe. This car is really, really well set up for any application and very reliable, which is really sick as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car. Timber's gonna bleed the brakes and we'll get this thing back on the road. Piece of the puzzle, you guys are getting the OEM Type R seats, which I will say are the best OEM seats to ever be in a car ever. But ah, uh, FL5 seats are really, really great and so are the Porsche carbon buckets. But you guys get what I'm saying here. These are fantastic OEM seats and will be comfortable enough for you to drive every day, but also keep you bolstered. I use these for so long. I think I didn't get a bucket seat until we competed in Coda. I used the OEM seats for so long and they are great and comfortable for tracking and driving to and from, just like I said, just how we wanna make this car, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the OEM seat in and this car is ready to rock. And I'll talk about the question I have for you guys once we get done with this. Yeah. 
absolutely epic day working on the FK. Wanted to get the car out in the nice, almost sunset lighting that we have out here. It's so good. I'm actually really surprised at how rad the OEM wing with the EVS tuning winglet looks. Dang, makes it look so aggressive. But yes, absolutely epic and successful day working on the FK, getting this thing ready for you guys. And the exhaust sounds awesome. Let's actually give you guys some revs because with this exhaust, you can actually really hear the P700 turbo under load. I'm curious to see if you can hear it during revs. Let's give you guys some revs with the HKS exhaust. HKS exhaust paired with MMP downpipe is honestly perfect, especially for daily driving. That is so nice. But I want to get you guys some sound clips from up front so you can get the intake suction noise as well as the turbo whistle because it's pretty sick. So freaking awesome. I am so pumped. This car is now, it's, it's almost ready for you guys with a couple of exceptions. Hopefully it inspires one of you that wins it to take it out to the track and try that out as well. But like I said, it's not quite finished and ready for you guys yet. And the reason why I wanted you guys to wait till the end of the video so you can give me your suggestions is we are gonna be peeling off the valve wing livery and rewrapping the car. I have a pretty good idea at what I'm gonna wrap the car for you guys, but of course I want some suggestions from you guys. Leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Let me know what color or if we should do a crazy livery or I don't know, give me some ideas. What do you guys wanna see with the Type R? I'm pretty positive I know what I want, but I also, of course, want to hear from you guys as well. Overall, super successful day with the Type R. I think I'm actually going to take this thing out on a canyon run so you guys can kind of see how it drives and how it sounds and all that good stuff, so stay tuned for that. But overall, super stoked at how the Type R is coming out. And of course, as always, every $1 that you guys spend on the Legend site is one entry in to win this car. So to end our day, I figured I'd take you guys along on what something I've been doing literally every single day, taking it as serious as like going to the gym, I would say, and like putting in the reps and putting in the time is the sim. By the time you guys are watching this, I'm filming this before I go to Japan, but you guys already know the news. We're competing at Attack Scuba, which is a time attack event, probably the biggest time attack event in Japan that takes place at Scuba Circuit. So what I've been doing every day leading up until my practice day on the 13th, which you guys have already seen, is putting at least 10 laps in on the sim. I was driving a GR86 and running laps on Scuba just to get the practice in uh, because by the time this video goes out, I think in a week or two weeks, Attack Scuba is taking place. So it's February 17th. So we're uh, cutting it pretty close to the event time. But like I said, for my practice day, I want to go in completely prepared. So I've been putting in 10 plus laps a day, just trying to make sure that when I get there, I have some sort of idea on how the track will be. Now, for you guys, it's already happened. So you know the outcome. I don't know the outcome. I'm super nervous. I mean, you gotta think the Evo's, all the stuff on the Evo is like 20 years old. So hopefully as long as the Evo stays in good shape, I'll be good. So we're gonna go ahead and get some laps in and uh, put some practice in before we leave. So this is the corner that really makes me the most nervous, the back straight leading in to the front straight. This is what makes me the most nervous when driving the Evo. So gotta get a lot of practice in right here. All right, 13 laps, 13 laps, consistent 105s and a couple 104s with an optimal 104 flat. I'm super happy with that. My goal is a 105 in the Evo, I'm really cross my fingers. I mean, the fastest of the fast goes sub minute. And of course, that's like the ultimate goal, but with number one, me never driving that track, and also the Evo untested in such a long time, 
I'm nervous, but the goal's a 105, so I'm, that's what I'm going for. You guys know the outcome already. I don't, so wish me luck. Uh, wish me luck at attack scuba challenge. That's gonna be, that's, that's mind-blowing. That's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm rambling on. Thank you guys for watching. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and end it. I actually leave for Japan tomorrow. So, I gotta go finish packing, spend time with Sparko and Team Money, and uh, finish up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Some words of good luck and your suggestions on the Type R. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.